thank Moshe for his support and his belief in me. And uh, I've been training a lot of the Kapab groups around the world. Be a mixture of uh, Filipino martial arts, going with Jiu Jitsu and with the, with the uh, Krav Maga mindset. Uh, I came from the tactical world. I always look for the uh, you know fast and effective result. So that's where I implement my uh, Filipino to be less artistic and more to the point. It's also biomechanically what we do. You give a three-year-old child a stick and he will do this. We are just inclined to do it biomechanically. So we're gonna go one pound women against a 250 pound guy and you're gonna take him out if you know what you're doing. Uh, so that's why I'm a big fan of knives. You, they can, you can travel with them everywhere in your suitcase. In most countries it's legal to carry and uh, it's a very effective way. Every bad guy on the street knows how to cut and how to stab with a knife. Okay, it's, we were using knives since childhood. Men, mankind is using the knives for half a million years. As I said before, I'm training as if the guy is a skilled, is a skilled uh, uh, fighter. And as a skilled fighter, let's uh, change uh, our position. I'm gonna attack you, Gama. Okay. So, no, just traditional. Uh, okay. He does this, and this is what's what gonna happen. I'm gonna parry, and even if he got me, I just got at him. Okay, and Ty sucks in my book. Yes, sir. Okay, you are not helping your partner by trying to be easy on him, because it always also confuses him, because the attack is not to hit to him, the attack is happen. someone. You're not gonna have a finger or a hand in there, and you're already gonna start the fight with one weapon less, I mean, your free hand is not going to be there for use anymore. So, knife is always in front. I can always, the reason I step, I do it all the time, is to pin him down so he won't be able to get away from me. Okay, because if I do this, he can get away, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose him. Okay, and I'll have to chase him and I don't like to run anymore because I have a bad knee. <laughs> so, doing this, so now, even if he wants, he doesn't get away. Yes, sir. Okay? If he moves, boom! You take him out. All right? Yes, sir. And then you also have a reference if you need to sweep him. Low rank. Even if I uh, uh, manage to put a bullet or two in him, I still have a good chance of being gutted. Okay? So, as I said, Thai sucks. Uh, if I pull out the gun, my first initial job is not to get hurt. Then I will inflict my damage on him. But I'm not going to exchange a lethal blow with a lethal blow, because then we're going to die next to each other, and uh, not good in my book. So when he comes off a number one to me, this what happens. OK, what did I do? I just hit his flexors. When you hit the flexors, you see I'm, I'm just pushing his flexors and it affects his grip. And another thing is, hold it. I'll try to get the knife out. There's no way. Now turn your wrist as much as possible. It's very easy to take the knife out. Because when your hand is bent, training the techniques are important, but not less important is training your brain. Okay? And when you train, you train as if Every time you do the drill, you are saving your life. You are fighting in order to get this fucker down. Because he just pulled a knife on me, and I'm going to take him out. Yes, okay? So training the mind is very, very important. If you think with one punch you're going to take somebody out, I have a surprise for you. It doesn't work. <laughs> I've been to multiple hundreds of full contact fights. People are resilient. Even if you're strong and trained, you'll be surprised how much beating people can take. You all watch UFC, you can see it. People can take a lot of punishment. So make sure you make at least three, four, five times significant hits before you try to move for your uh, disarms yes, or whatever. If you won't get the knife in time in your hand, you're in trouble. So deployment is very, very important. You can be a really good sharpshooter if you don't know how to engage your gun 
pull it out of your holster and and uh, you know put it on on target, then your sharpshooting skills are worthless in uh, self defense. If you put his hands there and I'm stabbing, fine too. I'm gonna go through his hand and to his throat. But if he checked me, I can always roll and go back in. Uh, attack. There's a lot of power there. Okay, and also when people defend themselves, it's easy to hook them and keep on going. Hmm. Okay, so that's again one of the defenses <coughs> I don't like to put my hand there and leave it because a skilled fighter or even instinctively that might happen. Because if I put two hands at the same time, or even if I'm empty handed, two hands at the same time, two things can happen. One, Two, he can get my back, and now I'm in trouble. And three, he slides down under me and cut me. So I never commit both hands at the same time. And I'm never 90 degrees to him, always 45. So if he tries to come around, I can stop him. If he tries to come down, I can block it. Go on. Attack. 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 Okay? Go for the eyes. Some people, when they move in, they go for the chin. Fighters close their chin down. I'll go for the chin here. Nothing's going to happen. However, I'm going to put my thumb in his eyes. And it's fine. <laughs> okay, so as I take him down, first of all, if he's a really big, strong guy, you can use a leg sweep or you can use the leg sweep. They both work. Okay? <laughs> See? I was already disappointed. At the end of the seminar, the real weapon here. Is uh, the Jedi mind trick? <laughs> you do not want to attack me. Drop your leg. <laughs> Pull the leg back. Straighten up. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear that fast. <laughs> okay? okay? He's giving you trouble. Strike the groin and take him. Where are you in front, or side, or back? Okay, whatever happens, the first thing is that the muzzle should not be anywhere on your silhouette. And uh, whatever you do first is deflect before everything else. Yes, you need to get in control of the weapon, but if I control the weapon now when the muzzle is on me, the control is worth nothing. Well, they're saying move out of the way, but it's still... Overextending his arm. What if he... Instinctively, he uh, bent his, his arm and I have some problems with uh, breaking it. That's fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move in here and help him cut himself. <laughs> and now, I'm going to continue on a figure four and drop him down. Okay? If you do it fast and aggressively, you're going to dislocate his shoulder. Fold it. He's got here a lot of rotation. Yeah. Yes, sir. However, if it's of figure four, much less. You see how? And I'm going to pull and push at the same time. All right? He comes up. I want you to step offline, parry, and go under his arm, and he doesn't see it coming. So as he goes, it's this. Empty hand version to the same technique. Elbow, I always give support from the back, so it gives it some, uh, and uh, that's why I always step on the people, because they, they can't dissipate the energy by moving back. Or when I'm pushing in with the knee strike, this is one thing, but when I pull you to it, it's another. Any day now. Look at my 
do point all the time to the sternum, not to the face. Okay, but this works also very well for the face, especially for tactical pens and kobutans. In, slap, slap, boom, mm -hmm. I'll take him. Okay, that's the intensity and the energy I uh, expect. I can use this to close on him and move in. This is for clearing, for grabbing, and for trapping. Doing this, even though I can get a win, you have endless options. And now we're gonna add the elbow drop. You don't do it by trying to get around and flailing your hand behind, because that gives him time to take initiative and start taking care of you. He has to be on the defensive side constantly. But bring it here, grab, and go again. Close, go. You got me right there. You're too focused on this, on this yeah. rather than use both hands. Right. Thank you. I'm going to put the wrist ah! and put a lock on it. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> it's important to lock the wrist because if I don't lock the wrist, you have some movement here. If I lock the wrist, same thing as before. So if he blocks down there, thank you very much. He just let me close the door on him and I can keep on. I'm gonna go against your thumb and roll it a little. So as I move in and I have multiple guys to attend to, you don't have to freeze. Whatever happens, you got ways to go. Yeah. Everything is in your way. Get rid of again. They grab the weapon. What you can do is again ah, center lock and boom, boom, boom. Easily. It's what in Wing Chun they call listening hands. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel where he is at all time using my forearm. Okay, he tries to go again. I'm waiting for it. Tries to go with reason or sewing machine when they come and they just try and, and uh, hit. Him. So what? Uh, dog catcher is doing is actually when somebody is doing that a lot of people are trying to get rid of them and then I'm going to take him out. I fell or I got hit or whatever and the guy has a knife and I fell down <coughs> now the problem is wait for it problem is a lot of people shows that to do this try to stop him to get to you however your femorals are very vulnerable and all he has to do is just lean forward down on the ground for me to get up and start running or engaging my weapon. Uh, right here, you're in fuck land. And you move and you're gonna grab something and fuck. <laughs> grab my head, pull down, and then look for the neck. <laughs> or he's going for the side of his body. As far as I'm concerned, the weapon is coming out. So this is the trigger. I'll move. This is a trigger, I'll move, okay? So, 
he was kind enough to bring his hands up, ready for a fight, and I'm right here in my fighting stance. I don't want to fight. Do that. Okay, let's go. You know, it doesn't look real good because for the cameras, I want to look as I'm the one who is. So doing this and doing that is exactly the same as the fighting position. However, for the cameras, I look much more submissive and trying to relax it, even though I'm ready to kick the shit out of this clown. Okay, it's a one-two motion. Cause, so even if he throws the kick, and if he's uh, throwing a higher kick, even better. Because yeah. I'm going to get his balls. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Good. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of muscle there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you go in and oh, watch this. I want to thank Moshe Galisco for Moshe. letting me go for uh, and teach his Kapap guys worldwide. Um, so we have to give him thanks too. It's Got it? Am I skinny? Yeah. Am I skinny? No, you're black. <laughs> Your face no. is hidden. You're in thinning black. We're trying, right? Oh, then we get yours, Kiel? Did you get mine? Yeah. Look, I'll you want to see it looks all right? It's all good. No, it's all It'll good. It'll make you look skinny. Two, one, three. Okay, so when I, I move here, okay? So I have the shortest way to go. And now I'm going to move in stride, stride, okay. And since they're from the front, from the front, so it has the same exact thing, or is it the, where you just kind of parry the gun? Okay, so now here again, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't make eye contact, okay. don't shoot. And again, what you want to do is deflect and take your, go offline. Uh, okay. The first thing, again, go offline. Oh. Back in the late 60s, uh, our Secret Service started to use Browning High Powers. Uh, before that, they had reporters. Okay? And a Browning High Power is a single action gun. Okay? Unless you, unless you go with the lock and cock condition one, which is unacceptable in Israel for safety reasons. So the whole uh, policy was to take out the uh, Browning high power and cock it and shoot. Okay. Later, later on, let's say late early 90s, they all moved to Glocks. Glocks is essentially a double action gun. Uh, this thing is not necessary. However, because of years and years of training and that is the tactics they have not changed yeah, so the israeli uh combat shooting thing is doing this and you're sideways when you push forward yeah yeah okay and it goes straight uh, yes. like a punch almost yeah? yeah so you go here from the center you pull the gun you go here from the center you pull and push the same and shoot. Oh, yes. You turn and you clip, you clip the slide, and then and you push the gun forward. You don't. Right. So you're here, 